Craig, big weekend of racing in Melbourne and in Sydney. Start off Friday night, you rode Sister Madly from the John Sadler stable. Yeah, it would. It's, um, Manicato's going to be a cracking race and um, looking forward to, to, to my first ride on Sister Madly. She's very impressive uh, dominating a mare's race and uh, looking forward to how she steps up. But uh, apart from Black Caviar, I think we've got the best sprinters in Australia going around the Manicato on Friday night. Be tough to take on Seapoy in that race though. Well, Sepoy's probably not the only one. You, you've got um, Gay Waterhouse's horse resuming. Um, Darren Smith was, has done really well. He's two races down here. just missed in the 1,000 metre race, which was a good indication for him being at the Valley. Um, and, of course, Sepoy's uh, undefeated, so uh, this, this preparation. So it's going to be an intriguing race. Big day in Sydney on Saturday with four Group 1s. Just asking you about a couple of your mounts. Mast Head, firstly. Yeah, well, I'm really happy with Masthead. Uh, his first up run, this preparation at Flemington, was really good behind Sepoy. And um, I trialled him uh, last Wednesday at, at Mornington and he's really come on from the race. So, uh, so um, he's, uh, I'm looking forward to him stepping out in Sydney on Saturday. You also ride Pinker Pinker, who's in terrific form, coming off a narrow loss to King's Rose last time here at Mooney Valley. Yes, and I actually um, rode a work this morning and uh, Gregory L was really happy with her work on Saturday and the feel she gave me this morning that she's right right um, right in form for uh, for Saturday's group one race is the reverse way of going a query not for her she's um, we actually went reverse way this morning but it was only just a reminder for her because she ran in the oaks in the autumn up in Sydney and uh, the way that she went this morning it won't be a problem and on Turnbull Stakes Day Flemington on Sunday serious speed yeah well I'm looking for I was lucky to pick up the ride um, she, just she's got a light weight she drops down to 52 the set weight and penalty of the race really brings her into it as well as being at Flemington and her her, rate, her last two runs have really put her, her top form back in and uh, I think if Flemington really suit her. Particularly her run last time at Corfu, that was pretty good. That's right and uh, you know she's been competing in weight for age races she now drops because since she hasn't won one of those feature races she carries, carries 52 where the others have to carry their weight so uh, really looking forward to her in the Turnbull.